What's up guys and girls, I'm Steph and today I'm here with a brand new show for you, Creating on a Budget. We all have worked on a shoestring budgets in the past using skateboards as dollies, small children as monopods, yeah it's an effort to make them stand still, and struggling to buy the next big game to produce content around. But here you will find the tips to save you some money on production, on the titles you want to create around, on all sorts of different things. So you're an FPS creator, or maybe an RPG connoisseur. Today I have the thing for you. We are talking about Origins Access today. So what the hell is Origins Access? Well my friends, Origin Access is about you getting a butt ton of titles at an itsy bitsy price. Origin Access gives you 36 titles currently from EA's back catalogue, ranging from Need for Speed and FIFA 16 to Dragon Age Inquisition and Battlefield 4. On top of that, they have Play First Trials, which allow you to try new EA titles for a limited time before they're even released to the general populace. And because it's the full game you're playing, not a demo, your progress carries across should you decide to buy the game on launch. So how do we use this stuff to its fullest as YouTube creators? Here's what I would suggest, sub up for one month and try the current Play First game, which is the new Mirror's Edge Catalyst, so you can produce a couple of videos on it before most other people have a chance to. If it's not a hit with your audience, you know not to consider buying the game purely for YouTube purposes, though get it if you enjoy it. If it is and you think you will see significant growth from the title, or in the best case scenario, make your investment back, you know to buy the game on release. So look for those trends when you're trying the play first titles before purchasing the full game. So let's get on to the EA Vault, this is where the meat and the bones of the product is. With the Vault it gives you the opportunity to explore and try new games that maybe you've not been interested in before. For instance, if you're an MMORPG creator, maybe you create dungeon guides or you just do playthroughs leveling up and you're feeling a little bit burnt out and need to take a break, this is an awesome way to pick up something like Titanfall without the initial investment for the full game. Play for a month, create a little bit of content around it and then get back to your bread and butter and that way you're not making the full outlay on the full price of the game which I think is currently $40 for Titanfall. So you've just saved yourself a butt ton of money and produced a butt ton of content for $6. It's not bad, right? So the next thing, maybe you're a new creator and you haven't yet figured out your niche. This is a great way to explore a ton of titles from a big catalog and find out what works for you. They have titles from lots of diff different genres, so there's lots of different things you can try. Another thing to consider is maybe you just want the story, no multiplayer. This is a great way to play through games such as Battlefield 4 that have a very small story for $6 instead of paying the full price, $40, for the full game. And along with the $6 you get all the expansion packs. So you're making a massive saving if you're just somebody who wants to experience the story. On a fi final note, something to keep an eye on. Constantly EA is updating what they call the on the house section. This is where they will throw a title up from their back catalogue and it's absolutely free to anybody that jumps on it. The problem with it is there's no time limit from for how long a title will be there and there's no date announcements of when the next title will be on. So this is something you've got to constantly keep your eye on if you want to stay on top of all their deals. So keep your peepers on it people. <laughs> So personally, I love this service. I'm subbed up to it just so I can screw around with titles that I would never consider the initial outlay on. Stuff like Need for Speed, I would have never bought personally because it's not my type of game, but I've tried it on Origins Access, found I liked it. I spent a week or two playing it and then dropped it because something that was actually in my category of interest came out. So it's an awesome way to try new things without making a massive outlay. So what do you think? Are you going to try Origin Access? Let me know in the comments down below and if you've got any questions or want to discuss Origin Access with me, you can always hit me up on Twitter at stephman123. Hope you're having a wonderful day people and expect more of these episodes soon. I've been Steph for Freedom, I'll see you in the next one.